Hello everyone, Namaskar. So today we are going to learn how to add two binary numbers. It's a bit difficult for beginners to understand how to add two binary numbers. Uh, some are a bit confused. I was also confused uh, as to how to add uh, these two numbers without converting them into decimal. Because you can also add them by converting into decimal but then it will be a four step process because you will convert the first number into decimal, you will convert the second number into decimal, two steps, then you will perform the operation which is addition, third step and then you will convert back that decimal into binary. So that is four step process. I will come to that also in the later part of this video. But here let's concentrate how to add this naturally. Naturally in the sense the way we add decimal numbers if I want to add binary numbers in the same fashion how can I perform this. So for that you have to uh, look at uh, four basic things which is again similar not different from uh, the decimal world. Uh, and the things are 0 plus 0 gives you 0. I think you are okay with this because in decimal also same is true. Then 1 plus 0 is 1. I think you are okay with this also. 0 plus 1 is 1 no problem till now 1 plus 1 is 1 0 in binary now this is a bit different how it is different uh, in decimal, this would have come to be equal to 2. But we have uh, some restrictions in binary world that we can only use 1 and 0. Okay. So because we can use only 1 and 0, we have to write that 2 only in terms of 1 and 0. And how to write 2 in terms of 1 and 0? It's simple. Keep dividing it by 2. So in one time only you will get 1, keep dividing until you reach 1 and because remainder in this step was 0 so start traveling from here to upwards and you can say that uh, 2 in decimal that is base 10 can be written as 1 0 in binary world fine so this is important that 1 plus 1 is 1 0 uh, because 1 0 also if you want to convert back into decimal. So how we do that? We start multiplying by 2 power 0 then 2 power 1 keep multiplying that. So 2 power 0 is 1, 1 into 0 is 0, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 into 1 is 2. So this will give you again. So you know that you are not doing anything different in decimal. 2 is here also but the way of writing 2 is different. Okay. So now let's uh, come back to our problem. So I have with me 1. 1. Let's write with some spaces. So 1, 1, 1. 1, 4 times and a 0. But if you look at the second number, this is only a four digit number and the upper one has five digit. So what we do, we write four digits like this, one zero, one zero and the spaces which remain vacant, we replace that by zero. Fine. And now we can add. Now just use the rules. Uh, 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, as I told you, it will be 1, 0. 
but we can't write two things here so we write zero and we take a carry of one to the next step so you take a carry of one again this will be performed as one plus one that is two fine again two how you write two you write as one zero again look at this one plus one two two again that two plus zero will again give you two only so you can write that again as one zero in which zero will be written and one will be carried forward this time we have one plus one plus one and that is three now how to write three in binary that is again a problem so three divide by two it goes in one time but you are also left with a remainder one so three you can write like this so three in decimal can be written as one one in binary so because i can write this as one one so one can be written and the other one can be carried forward Again, one one, so that is two and two can be written as one zero. Now we can write that perfectly. So this one 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 zero plus one zero one zero. can be written as 1 zero, 1 0 0 0 all the three are in base two. now let's check it whether we are correct or not and how will we check that uh, with the help of uh, conversion that's a four step process so let's start 4 1 and a 0 i am going to convert that into Okay, if you want a black again, so here you are. So four one and a zero. It is in decimal, but suppose I don't know how to add a binary number, so let's convert this into decimal. How we do that? One one. One, one, zero. Multiply the first one by two power zero. The second one by two power one. Then two power two, two power three, and two power. So you can do this easily. Two power zero is one. One into zero is zero. Then two into one is two. Four into one is four. Eight into one is eight. And sixteen into one is sixteen. So you are left with twenty-four, twenty-eight, and twenty-six. Wait, 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 wait. Sixteen, four, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, and thirty. This is thirty, and this is of course to the base ten. Now, next we had one zero one zero. Multiply by two power zero, two power one, two power two, and two power three. So this is zero, then two, again zero, then eight. So this is ten, and the base is ten. That is, means it is in uh, decimal. Now you can easily add thirty to the base ten and ten to the base ten. That we are doing since childhood. Thirty plus ten is forty to the base ten. So we have performed three steps. Last step, which remains, is convert this forty back into binary. So for that, keep dividing it by two. So you get twenty. Your remainder is zero. Again by two, you get ten. Your remainder is zero. Again by two, 
you get 5 your remainder is 0 again by get 2 2 times remainder is 1 again 2 1 times and remainder is 0 so you can write like this so 40 to the base 10 can be written as 1 0 1 triple 0 fingers crossed let's check whether we are correct or not 1 0 1 triple 0 1 0 1 triple 0 yes we are correct so both the methods uh, I did but uh, I think by the end of this video you are not afraid of the first method as well because I think if you were striking also then only in this particular step which I think now it's easy that uh, whatever it comes think naturally 1 plus 1 is 2 only but 2 we can't write like 2 in binary calculations so we convert it back into decimal uh, sorry uh, we convert it back into binary because 2 is in decimal and then again start performing our calculation as it is so that's it again I think it's simple for you right now let's see you with uh, more such question thanks and have a nice day